What is up, y'all? Within today's video, we're going to be talking about James Charles because he started to tease some blushes that he's finally going to be coming out with that he did, like, mention before and tease before two years ago. This just shows you how long it can take to come out with some products, especially when you're coming up with custom packaging. I feel like if you just went with, like, regular, like, say, for example, like, private labeled packaging, you can probably come out with things a lot quicker because in my personal experience, like, when I was trying to build a brand before, I found it to be more time-consuming to come out with the actual components and the actual design rather than the actual product. Like I feel like when I was coming out with a custom formulated lipstick, it took me maybe about six months to come up with the formula that I liked, but then to come up with the packaging, y'all, it took me like a good nine months because you have to like, say for example, if you have an image in your head, you send it over to like, typically it's always China. Like I feel like every like product, well, not every product, but every package comes from China. Every component comes from China, all plastics. And you send things over and say, for example, you have your graphic artist come up with the design that you want you send it over to China and then they send it back and it looks absolutely nothing like what you sent them so then you have to keep on doing revisions and they keep sending it back and forth but then there's just so much time in between because a lot of times they'll send things over from China on a boat, which will take a lot of times, a lot of times. Say, for example, when you do like your final like shipment, they will send it over by air, which is really, really expensive, y'all. So James Charles is in the like final steps of coming out with his blushes, and he's going to be coming out with a uh, kind of like product. Say, for example, like Patrick Ta, to where he has half cream, half powders, just like with Patrick Star as well with One Size Beauty, several other brands. And there was somebody who was saying like, "Oh, so you're copying Patrick Ta?" And I'm like, "Y'all, there are several brands that look like or that have the." same component like what are you supposed to do as far as a component to have a cream product and a powder product you know what I mean so we're going to be talking about that within today's video and then we're also going to be talking about him addressing that drama too and then we're also going to be talking about his actual blushes too because I don't know why for some reason you guys can call me whatever you want to call me but let's just go ahead and keep it real here here on this channel you guys like when I do reviews of controversial people like you guys like when I do reviews of Jeffree Star stuff of James Charles stuff do you know what I mean and I feel like that's the only time that my channel gets views. So if you guys want me to do a review of James Charles blushes, get this video to 500 likes and I will purchase one, just one, and do a review of it. Now, I do want to let you guys know this though, before moving forward with that, as you guys know, I did do a review of of the James Charles painted paints, which I absolutely hated. And then I did do a review of the James Charles palette, which I absolutely loved. And honestly, y'all, several of my friends were like, okay, this is a beautiful palette. Like that is a really good color story palette. The quality is really good as well too. And the full layout of it is really good too. I do want to let you guys know one product I didn't like, one product I liked. Now getting into the blushes. If you guys watch my anti hauls, I just want to say this before even like, before you guys even like the video, before you guys even get it to 500 likes, before you guys even want a review, I am being fully transparent here me and cream or liquid uh, blushes do not get along. I have these like broken capillaries right here on my cheeks as to where a cream or liquid um, blush is going to like separate and look patchy. Basically what it does is say for example if I have my foundation laid down and I go and take like a little bit of blush on top of it it'll peel it off and then just look really really red and pigmented in that specific section and it will look very very blotchy and I absolutely hate that. That's why I steer away from a cream or liquid blush. Now, if you guys want me to do a review of it, I still will do it. Of course, when I do the review, I will mention that too because I don't want to like come across shady and be like, oh my God, this product is, you know, patchy or separated or whatever. My skin is messed up. You know what I mean? And I don't know why this little bit of section right here just doesn't cling to product. That's why I like powder blushes because say, for example, when I do my foundation, my concealer, set it, and then I put on top of a powder, it looks good. It doesn't separate, it doesn't like, you know, get patchy or anything like that because it's already set. So letting you guys know that, okay? But if you guys do want me to do a review, that's something that I will do because I don't know why for some reason here on this channel, Y'all just want me to like get canceled basically, which I'm down with. I literally don't care anymore. Like I'm like, okay, if you guys want me to review Jeffree Star's palette and everyone hates Jeffree Star right now, I'll go ahead and review it. I literally don't care. Same thing with James Charles, literally don't care. I'm just kind of like, honestly, y'all at the point to where people are going to buy it and people are going to review it. And then on top of that too, like I said before in previous videos, when it comes down to James Charles, it's like so many people want to cancel people for using his products, but then he has 38 million followers. And then he's like selling out of products on the TikTok shop. So clearly people are supporting him no matter what. 
Do you know what I mean? Anyways, y'all, get this video to 500 likes if you guys do want me to do a review of this. He hasn't announced a date as to which they are coming out, uh, but you guys know I'll pick it up and do a review if you guys want me to. Anyways, let me shut up. Let's go ahead and get... Oh, actually, before we get into the video, don't forget I do have a podcast channel. It'll be linked down below, so make sure you guys show some love over there, and let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's go ahead and start this off by showing you guys the TikTok to where James Charles was teasing his new blushes and where he's showing the packaging and talking about the process of finalizing components and like why it took so long because people were like girl you were talking about blushes two years ago what's up with that and I even had said in a previous video too maybe like a month ago or two months ago I was like he was talking about blushes and like what happened to that I feel like it's the same thing with Jeffree Star when Jeffree Star was talking about foundations and I'm like that was years ago and clearly foundations are kind of like off the market now I feel like for Jeffree Star I don't know because I haven't heard him say anything about it but I do totally understand in Jeffree Star's situation like foundations probably cost like you know maybe about a million dollars to come out with maybe even more because you have to come out with so many different shades and have a minimum order of quantity for each specific shade do you know what I mean but anyways go ahead and check out this TikTok right here <sighs> Blushes incoming, girl, I certainly hope so. I made a big mistake as a brand owner. Let's talk about it and let's talk about where the hell are the painted blushes. Now, the first time I showed you guys our painted blush samples was October 3rd of 2022. Two whole years since I showed you guys the first samples that my lab sent me. And the reason why I posted that was because I was so excited and I made you guys a promise that with this brand, I wanted to keep you involved every single step of the process. But with doing that, I learned a very valuable lesson. That teasing things too early is gonna piss some people off including myself. You guys saw in that clip, we started off with powders, then moved on to the creams, but unfortunately this formula was not perfect. And you guys know I'm a stickler for quality. And it literally took seven rounds of samples to finally get an approved formula. But then came time for the packaging. Oh, the packaging. Obviously the theme is white and then colorful swatches of the product that's inside. So duh, the blushes needed to match. So I spent hours hand mixing paint and creating all these 3D swatches to send over to the factory. And then I even sorted through thousands and thousands of colors just to get the exact perfect match for the factory because it's one of my biggest pet peeves when makeup brands have like a color sticker on the top of the packaging and it does not match the product inside. So I'm sure you can imagine my reaction when I received this in the mail. Now this is the unicarton, okay? Looks completely fine until you actually look at the product inside. Now maybe I am delusional, but you guys can let me know. <laughs> Did these look like the same color to you? Then even worse, okay? Let's open up the actual component. A another new color, new color unlocked. So just like the formula, we went through tons of rounds of sampling until we finally got the packaging complete and the colors matching. So I think it's pretty obvious these took way longer than I originally anticipated, but it was a really valuable lesson as a brand owner that you never know what roadblocks you might hit during the process of creating a product. And although I want to keep you guys in the loop every single step of the way and still plan on doing that, maybe next time I just need to make you wait a little bit longer. But hey, hopefully the wait will be worth it because blushes are almost ready and you guys are going to love them. As y'all can see from right there, he's going over the process of like what it is to like finalize a component and then like the whole coloring of everything. And you know what, y'all? I can literally sit there and say I understand that whole process. I went through it when I was coming out with a custom tube of liquid lipstick like way back in the day. Y'all, I started that process in like 2007, 2008. Obviously, that never seen the light of day. But I do know the whole processing because I did order. Y'all, I have 15. I don't know if I've ever even said this. I like said I was going to make a video about it. But then like low-key, I'm embarrassed because I'm like, what if like fell? year I am um, I actually have 15,000 <laughs> it y'all in my garage I have 15,000 empty um, liquid lipstick components and I'm like maybe one day I'll blow up on social media and then I'll just do like a limited edition release and like sell those 15,000 and then never make it again you know what I mean and that day never came so y'all I had those shipped over from China I had them all custom formulated and everything I may have gotten drunk one time and like shown my component on live before Maybe not, I don't remember. If anybody remembers, let me know. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and play the TikTok right now to where somebody said, oh, so we're just gonna like be Pat, uh, copying Patrick Ta now. And I'm like, y'all have some thoughts and opinions about that. So just go ahead and check this out first. Am I losing my mind or are people on here just like crazy? And let me clarify, I love Patrick Ta. So this is not shade to him. Okay, one of the nicest people in this industry, so talented, a massive inspiration of mine, but like, you can't look at these two things and say they're a copy of each other. Can you? Like, just because they're both in a rectangular component and have a cream and powder formula inside, just like Tom Ford, just like One Size, just like Dubious Place, just like Charlotte Tilbury, just like every other brand? Huh? 
I'm trying my best here, people. Okay, there are only so many different ways you can put two formulas into the same package. And respectfully, I feel like we're doing a pretty decent job in that department so far, but I do apologize if anybody feels like we're copying anybody else. That does bring me to the point of this video today though, okay? If y'all are such little sticklers and packaging designers, you be the CEO of Painted for a day, because I have a question for you. I've been working on lip balms for the past couple of months for Painted because they've been highly requested and I got these samples in yesterday. And unfortunately, after about four months of work, um, we've decided to completely start over because the formula of this sucks and I want you guys to have the best. I'm trying to design the packaging and I am struggling a little bit because I really want ours to be unique and on brand with Painted. Uh, but speaking of brands copying each other, I don't know if you guys have shopped for a lip balm recently, but they all look exactly the same, which is also no shade. This is how the beauty industry works. When one component is really great at applying a product, other brands are naturally going to use the same component. And I guarantee none of these brands were the first one to invent this packaging either. So I could design ours with a similar looking tube, but if I do, I know that I'll get comments saying that I copied this as well. So I've been trying to brainstorm something a little bit more creative and unique for our packaging. I really am open to anything as long as it's on brand with painted and the rest of our packaging designs. And it also can't be too crazy as well because I wanna keep these super affordable for you guys. So if y'all are the packaging police, then you design the next painted product. And if it's good, I'll pay you. Maybe even bring you onto the team. <laughs> Good luck. Y'all, I hate to like agree with James Charles, but let's just go ahead and keep it real here. It's just kind of like, okay, people are reaching here. I feel like that type of component is very, very typical in the beauty industry. If you guys have seen other brands that have a cream product with a powder product, that's just typically how they look. That's how it's going to look because how else do you design a component? I guess maybe you can come up with a concept of like Melt Cosmetics and have a stacked product to where you can have a cream on the top and a, you know, powder on the bottom. Maybe you could do something like that. But other than that, there's really not too many different components that you can go with for a cream and a powder product, you know? Well, I, while we're on this topic of the blushes and things like this, I do want to go ahead and say this. Honestly, okay, <laughs> I know you guys are probably gonna be a little bit shocked here. I really do like his packaging color and concept and I really do like that he's focusing on matching the color because I do see it with several other brands that say, for example, you'll go to like, you know, oh, look at the, like say for example, you're shopping at Sephora. You'll see a closed product and you'll be like, oh, I like this corally color and then you'll open it up and it's like a straight up orange. Do you know what I mean? So I do like that he is focusing on that because I have definitely noticed that myself in the like, you know, beauty space as far as products that where things won't match, you'll see the bottom i don't have any products right here literally i don't have brushes um you'll see the bottom of a lipstick right you don't have a specific shade and then you'll go to open it up and you're like okay that's like not even in the same family do you know what i mean so overall honestly as of right now it does look like a cute package to me i, I think that looks really nice in my personal opinion once again, if you guys want me to do a review of that product, like I said, he didn't mention when it's coming out, but I'm sure because he's showing the product and he's actually saying that it is finalized now, I'm sure maybe within the next couple months we'll have a launch date of it. If you guys want me to do a review of that, let me know. Once again, take it with a grain of salt. I'm already letting you guys know. I will be amazed if that does not separate on here. I have tried so many other cream blushes before and it just does not work for me. So I will be really, really amazed if it doesn't look blotchy and separated and that's not going to be reflection of the product but you know what i'll probably do just so you and I, guys know uh before like doing that or if i end up doing that i will probably end up doing one with like a massive amount of concealer and like setting it and then putting the cream on top and then just doing one regular do you know what i mean so that way we can really see how it works so that way i give it like a fair shot but obviously you guys have to get this video to 500 likes if you guys really want me to get it as i let you guys know before just keeping it so real with you guys i'm just at the point in my life right now to where i'm not going to be purchasing extra product that i'm not going to like get any type of views on because that's just a waste of money and i'm just keeping it so transparent with you guys if if you guys have watched several of my anti hauls, a cream blush is always in one of my anti hauls for repetitive reasons as to my cheeks being all types of jacked up, you know, and I ain't talking about the backdoor cheeks. I'm just playing. <laughs> Anyways, y'all make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.